Hey everybody, it's Gilbert, and you probably came to this uh, video because you saw a title that says, uh, you know, my rant on the immigration issue here in, here in America. Well, let me tell you, uh, let me first start out with an analogy here. Um, you've got a house, you've got uh, two or three beautiful kids, a lovely wife, a dog, um, you got uh, a nice couple of cars in the, in the garage, and, uh, and you got a nice job. And maybe your wife is working too. Your kids uh, go to school. They're off during the summer. And um, so one night, uh, when you're not thinking about it, um, you hear uh, one of your doors uh, open up. And about that same time, uh, you hear some windows starting to open up. And maybe your alarm might, uh, might be shut off because you thought, well, you're in a nice neighborhood. Nobody's going to bother you. But these people come into your house. They don't know you. They've never met you. They've never met anybody in your family. They don't know any of your friends or coworkers. Uh, and uh, but they come in, and uh, and they begin to take take advantage of what's in the kitchen, and they uh, start to uh, settle in on one of the couches. They might even come into one of the bedrooms where the kids are, and uh, and force them off their bed so that they can sleep on it. No, I'm not talking about Goldilocks and the Three Bears. What I'm talking about is America and the immigration issue. Just like any homeowner would be concerned about how to take care of their home and protect their home against somebody invading their home, so America should take whatever measures necessary to protect the people in their home in America. And if somebody wants to come in illegally... Well, they should pay the penalty for pay coming in illegally, plain and simple. Well, apparently we have not been doing that here in America, and we've let a lot of people come into these borders, and not only have they come in, but they have uh, been taken advantage of services. They've enjoyed a lot of benefits. Uh, a lot of wonderful things are happening for them. Uh, they're getting benefits that many veterans have to wait long, uh, many, many months to get. And yet uh, these get in and they get welfare benefits. And many of them uh, even get some really good paying jobs. And they got a great work ethic. I have, no, I have no qualms about their work ethic. But what I do have qualms about is when you come in illegally and you do not uh, follow the system for becoming a citizen and rather you start having children and they grow up in an American society as they're entitled to because they're born in America. But the parents have chosen to rebel and to stay in their illegal status. Now, that doesn't make sense. And then they turn around and force America's hand to say, okay, accept us as citizens when they have not gone through the process. If they're not gone through the process as others who have come into this country for years before, who have gone through all the requirements, have gone through all the training, are willing to pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States and take responsibility for their actions and do the things that are right by the people of the land. Well, that's, you know, if they're not willing to do all that, then they should go back where they came from. And yeah, I, I, I know this is a hot topic, but this is a topic people have to, to face with we're talking about people who illegally came into this house. Now, yes, as Christians, we should take care of the people that are in our house, but they have a responsibility too. Their responsibility is you get right, period. If you're not willing to get right, then you get out. That's in the Bible. And, uh, and so as many preachers are st taking a stand for the uh, protection of our borders, uh, I I am uh, I'm in agreement with that according to the Bible, and uh, if if people want to get all huffy about it, hey, leave your doors open, left your windows open, no matter where you live in the hood, if you live in the expensive part of the country, uh, leave your doors open if you feel that way. Anybody would just come walking in and take up residence in your house, eat your food, and expect you to care for them. Hey, let's do that. Let's see just how long that lasts. And, uh, and then when they start taking your daughters and your sons, well then, let's see how long that lasts. 
Well, that's all I have to say about that for right now. I'm sure I'll hear more. And uh, I'm doing this as part of my uh, uh, my business to uh, to make business online. Hey, I gotta I gotta stir some water if people want to go take advantage of something. But I hope that uh, you see that what I'm saying is right. If not, leave your comments below. I hope you have a great day. You absolutely deserve it.